Yo guys, I'm Foster Wright. Welcome along today. If you're new to the channel, then welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, it's nice to have you along for the ride. So today what I'm doing is I'm just come out for a ride because I want to make a video on the three things that I like the best about my KTM 1290 Super Adventure S. So what we're going to do is we're going to find somewhere nice to pull up and I'm going to talk about them uh, three things. Right, so we're going to do this in reverse order. We're going to do three, two and then one. Right, so yeah, three things. So number three is uh, a bit contrary to my last video on the three things I hate about this bike. Because number three is the electronics. The electronics on this bike are absolutely awesome which includes the electronics for the suspension so i'm talking about rider modes i'm talking about suspension settings so you can actually independently alter the damping on the front and the rear and the preload on the rear as well now it does it by oh it does it by percentage so at the minute it's set at 40 percent and it does go up and down it's uh, quite good for that for different heights and when you've got loads of luggage on the other bits about the the rider modes is so you have rally this is all if you have the uh, electronics pack uh, bought from ktm which is like nearly a thousand pound mine came with it on the bike already so you get rally mode and now that the rally mode is like a track mode if you know what i mean it, it allows you to alter all the throttles the wheelie the rear wheel skid all sorts of stuff on there the rally so there's rain sport road and then for the throttle there is three settings on its own in fact i should show you so if we go down to rider modes here we go so at the minute i'm in rally mode you've got street sport rain off road and rally now as you can see that the options open up here so you have abs settings for i've got it on road at the minute cruise control blah de, blah de, blah turn that to road uh, MTC that's the rear wheel skid you've got throttle response you've got off-road rally which is basically it just gives you a big burst of uh, throttle right at the beginning of the of the turning thing so you just have to turn it like that and uh, street sport I generally have it on sport right slip adjustment right so this is on one at the minute right so so what else you have on here is you have a slip adjustment on here if you notice here you have a plus and minus button so on the fly you can adjust that so if you want totally no slip whatsoever out the back end you can put it on nine but if you turn it down to one then it'll it's basically it'll spin out and everything but that's the one you can wheelie so let's go back out of that let's go back in so for the suspension settings uh, you have different modes for this so street comfort which makes it really soft off-road advanced and auto so auto will basically it'll just change it on the fly for you so if you start sport riding uh, it will it will tighten it up if you're on the motorway it'll soften it now what I have found with that is that it takes like probably about 10 seconds to change uh, and it's caught me out a couple of times as that, you know, coming into roundabouts, it slipped a few times. So I don't tend to bother with automatic suspension. I tend to just leave it on sport and that's it for me. Uh, where is it? Sport. But you can go into auto, uh, advanced here and then you have obviously the preload, the anti-dive. That's for the forks. That is brilliant. That really works great. And then this is where you can adjust your forks. So at the minute, so the hardest setting is number one which is that hardest and then two i have it on there usually if i'm in this mode and then obviously all the way up to the softest but i don't have it in auto mode anyway so i mean in advanced mode i have it in uh, street mode and then the same again for your shock so let's go back out of that what suspension mode are we in advanced let's turn that on to sport that's what i usually have it in that's a happy medium that I, I really like that one that mode on the twisties it really helps out it's 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 solid it, you can still feel the bumps and things like that but got it all due to the ground uh, so what else have we got in here 
So I've got bike information, obviously all your trips and things like that. Got information about your battery, your odometer, your service. When is my, is my service due in 1.7? Right, okay, 1,700 miles. Suspension, we've done that. Cruise control. So the cruise control on this, you've got adaptive cruise control and you can uh, ACC Comfort, uh, CC Only, Adaptive Cruise Control Sport. I do, I'll, I'll be honest, I don't even mess about with these. I just... Uh, and then you've got your heated grips and your rider seat. Now, I haven't got the riding seat, so I don't know why it's asking me whether I want it high, low. Cause it's not even plugged in or anything. Uh, I have got heated grips on here, which I fitted myself. So that's the electronics package for this. So that's number three on this bike, even though really with number two, it's probably equal. In fact, it's probably a better at a number two if you want to do it that way. But number two would have to be the riding position and the ergonomics of the bike. Now, previously, I stated in my last video that the ergonomics of this bike were pretty crap in the way that this comf the seat was really uncomfortable. And now I've got changed it to an all-in-one seat, as you can see, and it seems to be much better. After a day's riding, a, a day's hard riding in Wales or Derbyshire or something, it still seems to uh, hurt the old buttocks when I get home. But, you know, throughout the day, it's pretty good. So I'm pleased with that. But it's the position of the bike, the position that you're in. So your feet are actually, they're not too low but they're not high neither so they're in the middle and my knee just sit just fits nicely in here and i just find that it, it's a nice position to be in the handlebars are at the right height. i have got some razors on there it has raised up 40 mil or something 35 i think actually and the way that you sit on the bike you you st you feel like you're sat in it because the tank comes right up it's very much like the xr you know you are sat in it, and it, it feels good. It feels really good. Uh, so I like that, and the screen as well, and all that lot at the front end. It's really good. So I'm I'm impressed with how it how comfortable it is in the sense of the ergonomics of it. The seat I had issues with at the beginning, but now I've got over them, I've sorted it. Uh, you may have noticed I've taken all the scaffolding off as well. That's because I'm expecting a new exhaust at any moment now. Right, so the last thing, number one, which is kind of bloody obvious, because this is why you buy a bike like this, is the engine. The LC8 engine. It's an absolute powerhouse. It's the same engine that's in Super Duke R, the Super Duke Evo, or Evo R or whatever it is, the new one, and the Super Duke GT. Now, the only thing different is, is the mapping on this. So it doesn't have as much power but I think they put it in the mid-range or torque. So I've had this uh, chipped, or what you remapped, you can say, by uh, BHP uh, Motorsport in Burnley. And, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the results on that. It's unlocked it to about 170, I think it's 170 brake horsepower. So basically, it's brought it in line with the Super Duke now. Yeah, it's brilliant. It really is brilliant. So the engine's great. But what I really like about it is how it responds. It's just got power in every level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the engine as we're riding. Otherwise, you know, it's just going to be a bit boring stood here, isn't it? Where everybody's watching me, thinking, what's that chuff talking about? And plus, it's good to ride the bike, isn't it? in every bloody gear it is absolutely awesome it's just a bloody weapon right well we'll go up to the top see look i'm in fifth now and it's just pulling as soon as i twist it absolutely amazing bike Still fifth gear, still pulling like a train.
Yeah, like I said, this engine is absolutely a peach. It's, it's crazy how good it is. I mean, I used to love my XR, being an inline four and everything and making it scream and everything. But this is a different animal. It just goes in every gear and every rev. It's great. Let's do it. It is bloody quick. Real quick. And then it just sinks into the corners and pulls out like a right weapon. It's fucking great. Should stop wearing really, shouldn't I? Third gear that. It just wants to bloody wheelie. Oh well. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed that video then please smash that like button. It does help out with the algorithm. And if you want to see more content like this, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. And then you get informed of any new videos that I release. And that's a big help as well. So until next time, thanks for watching. Peace out.